Hello. Today I wanted to talk about religion. So, dear God, if you exist. When I was young, I believed in God. I feel like anyone who's raised with religion is going to believe when they're young because you believe what you're told by the people that you trust, which is like the adults in your life, you know, parents, grandparents. I was raised Catholic and I went to church um, quite often actually. I went with my grandmother, Meme, and uh, you know, I never, I never questioned my beliefs until probably after I was told Santa Claus didn't exist. Because I feel like once you realize that Santa and the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny and all that is made up, it kind of makes you wonder, well, if I couldn't see them and they don't exist, maybe God doesn't exist either. If you can hear Zoe, I'm really sorry about that. She's in heat. and she's been annoying us for this whole week. So that's what's going on in the background. But when I started to question whether or not I believed in God, sorry, that's my Tamagotchi. Um, at first it was more of a, I'm going to try to test God. And I feel like a lot of people do this. What I was doing was I'd say, if God is real, make this happen, you know? And then, of course, whatever I said I, I wanted to happen never happened. And then I was like, you know what? God's not real. But I would say it because I was trying to make God angry so that he would do it. You know, like kind of like reverse psychology, but I guess that doesn't work on God. Anyway, um, when I was 14 or 15, I can't remember, one, one of the two, I went to a thing called Steubenville, and it's a conference for, like, it's a Catholic conference, but, I mean, you can go, you can be any religion and go, but it's, it's Catholic itself, and I went to that, and I felt God. <laughs> I, it, it feels weird to say that, but I felt, I felt the Holy Spirit. I thought I did, anyway, that's what, what I'm getting at. And for a good six months, I, I believed in God again, like fully and didn't question him. And I was reading the Bible. By the way, the Bible is a great book. Like fiction or nonfiction, I actually really enjoy the Bible. And I haven't read it in a long time, but when I did, I really, really, really enjoyed it. So... That, that is true. But anyway, I went to this conference and then afterwards I felt very, um, very religious, very, um, I don't know. I don't know the word, but I just, I felt good. <laughs> and that lasted a little while and then it kind of faded off and I stopped going to church again. And, um, but the next year, the next summer, I went to that camp again, and then same, similar situation. And then I went to a thing called Challenge, which is also another Catholic um, conference. And I, I also really enjoyed that too. So it's not that I don't enjoy religion, because whether or not it's real, I, I do. I like the way that it is. I like the way that it's set up. Um, obviously, I don't like some of the things, like um, things that could be considered transphobic or homophobic, but at that time in my life, it was before I ever came out as a lesbian or came out as trans, so it wasn't, I didn't feel directly, like, affected by it or, like, um, I didn't feel offended, I guess, would be the thing <laughs> but then um, after I came out as a lesbian that was when I was 16 I still did go to uh, the conferences because uh, I went to three and plus the the challenge thing so it kind of it it made me question how I felt and what I believed in and 
Um, I think by the last conference, I kind of, I just, I went, but I didn't really believe. And then after high school, um, I moved out on my own, not really on, well, after high school, I moved out on my own with Shauna and, um, she's not religious and I just kind of gave it up and, but at that point, I still, I didn't like completely not believe. It was just kind of like a, I believe in God, but I'm not religious kind of thing. And it just, it faded off as time went on. But then, um, when I was about 21, I think, that's, that's when things really changed. And I just saw things from a different perspective. And I feel like once you see things one way, it's hard to go back to seeing them the other way. So that's like where I'm at now. I, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in a higher power. I do believe in nature. I believe nature is a beautiful thing and that can be very spiritual. I feel like if you go for a walk on the beach, that's going to make you feel great. The fresh air and just the way everything looks and smells. Um, that, that to me is, is my religion, you know, nature is religion. I don't believe that there's an all seeing being, um, who created us. I don't know. I don't, obviously I don't know all the answers. Obviously I don't know a hundred percent what the truth is and I don't know if there's a heaven, if there's a hell, if there's neither, if there's one, you know. I don't know about that, but um, just the way I see things, like my perspective, I don't think that there is. Um, in the back of my mind, of course, I hope that there's a heaven, because how awesome would that be? You get to see everybody that you loved, and everything's going to be happy, you know? But, you know, a big part of me thinks, nah. What I believe happens when you die is you just, you die. Do you remember what it was like before you were born? Well, that is what it's going to be like when you die. Uh, I, I think that you just close your eyes and you go to sleep and you, you sleep without dreaming, you know, but it's forever and you never gain consciousness again. And a lot of people think that's scary, but for me, it's kind of comforting because if you don't have a consciousness, you can't hurt, you can't feel, you can't see, you know, it just ends. So you don't even realize that it ended and it's over. And for me, that, that's peaceful. For a lot of people, that's like, that induces panic because it's like, oh my God, I'm not going to exist anymore. I'm going to lose everything I ever had. I'm going to forget everybody, whatever. But it's not like that. You're not going to forget anybody. You're not, none of that's going to happen. It's just going to shut off. It's like when a battery dies, you know? And I don't know if you can see it from my perspective, but for me, that's fine. I, I think it'll be great if that's what happens, but I also think it would be great if there's an afterlife. But either or, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter to me. Because I feel like if you live well, and you live life to the fullest. By the time you get to the end of your life, I feel like you've lived it and, and you're good, you know? You, you did what you needed to do. And you feel satisfied. And that's where, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to live life to the fullest and feel satisfied in the end. Right now, not living life to even 25%. Um, but... I'm working on it. It's really, really, really difficult with the anxiety that I have and the depression that comes off and on. So I'm working on it, but that's, that's my take on religion. Um, I don't knock people down if they believe, but I don't, I don't believe what they believe. And, um, you know, I, I think it's okay. I think it's okay to have different opinions, different beliefs and, um, whatever religion you believe in, I hope that it's for your sake. I hope that it's true. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to be right. Um, for everything to just end and nothing to be there is not as exciting as an afterlife. So if your afterlife is real, like I'm, I'm happy for you, but 
I, I just don't believe it. And because my perspective changed, I just spit. Because my perspective changed, I, I just, I don't see it that way anymore. And it, it just is. What do you believe in? Uh, feel free to leave it down in the comments and we can talk about it. But I don't, I don't want any fights, you know. If you're open-minded and you want to have like a good little discussion, we can do that in the comments. But I, don't, I just, I don't want to fight. So, see you next time.